The Ond experiment was an early test of village level self government in British India, which began in 1938. Mohandas Gandhi, and Maurice Friedman helped to draft the November Declaration, which handed over rule of Andh state from the Raja to the residents, and became law in the Swaraj constitution of Andh in 1939. The Andh experiment was an unusual idea in pre-independence India, where the rulers of princely states were loath to hand over their power. <laughs> <laughs> development and ratification At the time, Andh was a princely state in British India, ruled by generations of Rajas since 1699. Unlike the provinces of India, which were ruled directly by the British government, the princely states had a certain degree of autonomy—with each state making its own treaty with the British monarch. In 1938, the ruler of Andh, Raja Bhavanrao Srinivasrao, was approached by Friedman also known as Swami Bharatananda, a Polish engineer who was a disciple of Gandhi. According to the Raja's son, Appa Pant, Friedman had great influence with my father, and on his 75th birthday he said, Raja Saheb, why don't you go and make a declaration to Mahatma Gandhi that you are giving all power to the people because it will help in the freedom struggle. Raja Bhavan Rao was a strong supporter of the Indian independence movement, and stood up for the welfare of the people of Andh, in sharp contrast to the attitude and behavior of the majority of Maharajas and Rajas. According to Indira Gandhi, the Raja readily endorsed the idea of self-government, Friedman wrote a draft declaration, and the Raja and his son travelled to Warda to see Gandhi. There, Gandhi dictated the final draft of the constitution, which was sent to the state assembly to be ratified on January 21, 1939. The Raja was a self-proclaimed nationalist, and the beginning of the experiment in 1938 caused concern among the British rulers, who reprimanded him for being a friend of Gandhi, who they called the rebel against the Raj. In response, Jawaharlal Nehru and the Indian National Congress offered their support to the Raja. Swaraj, or self rule, was the foundation of Gandhi's movement for independence from British domination, and included the principles of self governance and community building. At the inauguration of the constitution, Raja Bhavan Rao affirmed Gandhi's ideals of Swaraj, declaring that, we have to urge the people of Andh to remember always that government being control, self-government implies self-control and self-sacrifice. In the new era that is coming to Andh, and we hope to the whole of our country, the strong will serve the weak, the wealthy will serve the poor, the learned will serve the illiterate. Self-government without this spirit of service and sacrifice is bound to decay into some form or other of exploitation. After ratification After ratification, the state of Andh was reorganized from the ground up, with local administration put in the hands of village panchayats with five elected representatives, voted into office through new voting rights given to all adults. Each panchayat chose a president, who represented them at regional taluka councils. Each taluka council chose a president and two representatives to a central assembly presided over by the Raja. In spite of the Raja's role as leader of the assembly, responsibility for regional government was, for all practical purposes, in the hands of the people. The panchayats were given responsibility for all matters relating to education, welfare, justice, water supply, sanitation, construction and maintenance of roads and public buildings, and all other activities relating to the health safety, and social and economic well-being of the villagers. Between 1939 and 1945, 27 new primary schools were established, making more than one per village. In addition, 14 middle schools and three high schools were built and staffed, with the total number of teachers more than doubling. Adult education also saw a doubling of expenditure. Several Indian National Congress leaders from Maharashtra became actively involved in the Andh experiment in the 1940s, including Tatya Shikare, Anasaheb Sahasrabudi, and Nana and Bao Dharmadakari. When a Chutrao Patwardhan went into hiding to avoid arrest during the Quit India movement in 1946, he used Andh villages as his base of operations. He went as far as adopting the language of the Andh state constitution, declaring that he and his band of freedom fighters were Prati Sakar, self-governing and independent of the central authority. The Andh experiment in village-level self-rule endured until Indian independence in 1947, when all of the princely states were merged into the new Republic of India.
Topic. See also. Swaraj. Equals equals notes. <laughs>